population, what do you understand by population data? 12 months. The first of all, tell us population data is, is information obtained from a population. There are different sources of population data. Now, you have the first one is census. Census here is a head to head count of the population to obtain information from them. Some of this information that can be obtained from the population, we can talk about the total population, the number of sex, the sex, the number of men to women, the age and the occupation, even the marital status. Those are some of the data that can be gathered from the population. Now, you will take some of the sources of population data which we have census to say it is an official collecting, compiling and publishing information about a particular area. First of all, some of the reasons why the government conducts census is to know the total population of the country, to know the labor force, to know the dependency ratio of that same country, and also to be able to ensure regional planning, also to redistribute social facilities within a country. Now, apart from that, census have its disadvantages. There are some difficulties that are faced during this activity. You have double counting is one of them. Inaccessibility to some areas makes some of the census agents find it difficult to assess the areas. Then you have wrong informations that are given inadvertently or inadvertently by the respondents. That's information that are intentionally given wrong or right. That's a difficulty. At times, people give wrong information. You also have uh, the next difficulty that census face is the delay in the publication of results. When the results are published late, it defeats the purpose of the results, or the, if, uh, the, es the essence of the data. Then the next source of population data will be vital registration, where information are collected from government, from offices, institutions, schools, hospitals, sports, and safe airports. This information gathered can also give a picture of the total number of people that live in a particular area. But there are some places that where you gather information from there, it will not ref really reflect what exists. Take for example, if you want to use the hospital booklets to gather information, it's not everybody that is delivered in the hospital. If you want to use school at uh, registers, it's not everybody that is or everybody that is schooling. And so that those are the limitations of that. Then you have sample survey is the last method. With sample survey here, a case, a sample is taken out of the whole to represent the whole situation. Take for example, you want to know the total population of Cameroon and you count only the far north region. Then it has a population of 2,000,000.